what's up, Divine Feminine? Now, I already got your cards out here, Divine Feminine. Okay. And I don't know if this is your child's father, your ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, somebody you was fooling around with that you didn't take too serious or they didn't take you serious. Whoever it is, it's somebody that broke your heart. This person, when you was with this person, you couldn't focus on yourself. You felt like, you know, they were stunting your growth. This person had you confused, unsure, unclear of where you stood in the relationship with them. This could be a player. Okay. You could be defensive, defensive around this person, paranoid around this person. You could be defensive when it comes to you spending your own fucking money. You can be defensive when it comes to you treating yourself. This is somebody. That wants you to be, it's like you you make good money. Whatever it is that you do, you make good money. You're financially independent, you're stable, you have the money to treat yourself. Whatever you want to buy, you got the money. Okay. Is somebody around you, Divine Feminine? I don't know. Chinese takeout may be significant to somebody. But this person who broke your heart, they have a sinister spirit. And they were doing some sort of moon magic. The moon magic could be to make you feel paranoid or defensive in a situation. Somebody could be doing some sort of moon magic for you to come back to them. To reconcile with them. To reunite with them. Be careful if the if somebody that you've broken up, they come and they come and bring you some Chinese takeout. For some of you, this person is married, but they was cheating with you. And for some of you, you could be married and they was cheating with somebody else. However it goes, somebody that broke your heart wants to reunite with you. They want to try it again. But this person, they they you couldn't focus on yourself. They kept you from growing. You couldn't find out who you are. This person, they may have money. We do got the energy of a side piece out here. A sinister spirit and somebody doing some sort of moon magic. Somebody didn't want you to tell them no. Somebody wanted you to be their yes ma'am. Yes man, yes ma'am. For some of you, this person. You have, you're the one with the money. You could be an a entrepreneur. Somebody may ride a motorcycle. Something you do, hands is significant. Something about your hands. Somebody may have recently broke their hand or broke a finger, broke a fingernail. Somebody may have, you may feel 
tied down in a situation or you may feel tied up. Whatever it is that you do, you may use your hands. I don't know. You may do hair. Somebody is a, a, a hairstylist. Somebody fixes motorcycles or works on engines or something to do with motorcycles. Somebody broke their hand. We rebuke that spirit. Okay? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Somebody don't want you to tell them no. They don't want you to say enough is enough. And this is somebody who wants to come back to you. So how does the collective feel about this person? Surprised? They want to say they sorry to you. You're unhappy with this person. They don't want you to be unhappy with them. How does the collective feel about this person? Wow. Irritated. Because they broke your heart. Yeah, this would irritate me for somebody that broke your heart and did you wrong and want to start over again. Clarify the new beginning. Why is the collective irritated? You're irritated and you're afraid, frightened to get back with this person. Tell me more how the collective feel. Nervous. You don't you you you're nervous about being tied down with this person. You're nervous about not being able to grow. You'll be nervous and defensive when you want to spend your own money. You may be with this person right now. You may know that they're cheating. You may be nervous at the fact that they may be cheating on you. You may be nervous to the fact that they're trying to give you something in some Chinese takeout. You may be defensive when it comes to eating with this person. How does this person feel about the collective? Depressed, gloomy. Sad. Now how they had you sad and depressed. They're sad and confused. They're annoyed. Or is this you? You're the one who's annoyed. You're annoyed with this person and they're depressed and sad because you're irritated and annoyed with them. They could be scared and it feels like the same energy that they put out towards you is what they're experiencing right now. They may be nervous and scared because you're annoyed with them. Okay? They're depressed because you're annoyed with them. Just like they, just like when you wanted to go and, and spend your money and do something, you, you work hard for your money. So why do you got to get permission from somebody to tell you how you should spend your money? That's what I'm seeing here. And you're annoyed with this person trying to tell you how to spend your money that you work hard for. You're tired, you're irritated with the fact that this person is overwhelming you. Because if you got the finances, you're a natural born leader, entrepreneur type of energy. You, you try to remain calm with this person. 
but at the same time, you're defensive and paranoid, and it's irritating you. This person got you all over the place when it comes to your fucking financial independence. Tell me more. I'm asking everybody to hit that thumbs up if this is resonating with you. We have sad, unhappy, somber, feeling blue. Because you couldn't be who you wanted to be. They had you scared to grow, scared to spend your money. Spending your money could have been helping you grow. You could have been wanting to buy certain things or do certain things that, that you know, um, coincides with your lifestyle or the way you want to live or something. And somebody was trying to, trying to, you know, tell you how to spend your money. about this person that broke the collector's heart. Tell me about this person. Six of Wands in reverse. Stuck in stuck in the past. You're not thinking about this person no more. Still me. This person sent a lot of confusion to you, had you overloaded. <clears throat> this is just somebody who came in your life to try to keep you stuck. It's like you have growth. Whatever it is that you do with your hands, it brought some sort of financial independence to you. And this person, hell, you may deal cards. You may shuffle cards. You may read cards. You may play an instrument. You may be an artist. Whatever it is, it's some sort of way to where you would be financially stable. Now they're scared, sad, unhappy, because you're irritated. And I would be irritated too. If I'm, if I'm going to work and I'm working hard every day to be able to buy the things I want to take care of my bills or whatever, and you got a motherfucker out here that's always doing this. Yeah, routine with the Knight of Pentacles. You can be irritated with this person because they cheat with a side piece. Um, you can be irritated with this person because they had you irritated. They depressed you. They had you feeling sad. And you, you know, you try to remain calm in the situation. Stop having sex with them. This person don't want you to be publicly recognized for something. They don't want you to be confident in something. Possibly in something that have to do with your hands. You may be biting your nails and shit. All because you want to buy something that you work for. And you got this motherfucker around here trying to tell you how to spend your money. That's what I keep getting. And it's making you sad. You shouldn't have to be sad behind wanting to spend your own money. If you your bills is paid and you want to treat yourself to go get your hair or your nails done or treat yourself to the movies or something, do it. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. This person, for some of you, they cheating anyway. So why the fuck would you sit around and wait for them? You may be missing out on your real Prince Charm. Queen of Swords in reverse. This person is this. I know this is not your energy, Divine Feminine. Or yeah, this is you. Yeah, yeah. That's why they fucking scared. See the Queen of Swords, Courts, Queen of Swords in reverse. She's cold hearted. She's overly emotional right about now. You may be you know, cussing this person out. Yeah, you so irritated with them that you're cussing them out. And it have to do with your money. They want you to be paranoid about spending your money. And it's irritating the fuck out of you. Damn. Tell me more. That's too 
many spirits. Yeah, they want you to be trapped or stuck, but you didn't got out of this. There could have been a, a, a argument or a fight, some sort of intimidation, competition, and there was a breakup. And there, and and there's some sort of hidden enemies. You don't have the answers to something. Whoever this person is, they they were very selfish when it comes to their energy, their emotions. They selfish when it comes to love. They they trying to block you, or they trying to block stop you. And the reason, and I mean, how they're trying to block you, because if you spending your money that you work hard for, and you're able to go get your hair done, you're able to go get your nails and your feet done, um, you're able to buy you some nice clothes and everything. That's gonna attract somebody to you. You're looking attractive. You're smelling good. You know. And this person is, is this, for some of you, this is your, your, who you're married to. For some of you, you can even just be in a long-term relationship with this person. And they got a side piece. Yeah. And they trying to stop you from fixing yourself up, cleaning yourself up, so you can't attract real love. And now you're irritated with this person. You, you cuss them out. It's like you you finally just you just you just went the fuck off on them. Yeah. Mm. Tell me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, he went off because two of cups in reverse, the relationship wasn't equal. You was doing all the giving and they doing all the taking and you cussed their ass out. Now they, they in their feelings. <laughs> yep, they in their feelings, baby. They in their feelings because you cuss their ass out. Or you, you being cold-hearted and bitchy towards them. You're not giving a fuck. You're focused on yourself. You're out there with a, a, a new way of communication. Thirst for knowledge. New ideas. You're not obligated to this person no more. And if they were trying to over obligate you to something, you stop that shit. Yeah. You're no longer allowing this person to burn you out, and they may have been, you know, trying to steal your sexual energy. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, you're the star. Where is energy? Star brings a sense of renewed hope and faith in the sense that you're truly blessed by the universe. That's how, you know, maybe you felt this way. This person was a star, but they cheating on you. Now you're just looking at this person with your arms folded. You like, and they sitting here biting their nails. Why are they biting their nails? Why are they biting their nails, Holy Spirit? Why is this person biting their nails? Why is this person biting their nails? Somebody is an Indian. It could be an Indian doing some moon magic. It could be a Chinese. A Chinese takeout out here. Most powerful. story of Medusa. Um, I think the story goes something about she was beautiful, but if you look at her, she turned you to stone or something. If you look in her eyes or something, I don't, I don't know the real story of Medusa. But, you know, it's whoever this person is, a snake. Um, it's 
snake hair. Um, snakes can also represent a, a new birth, a rebirth. But this is sad that you, you you got the money to go and spend on yourself. And um, this person has you feeling, you know, sad about the money that you make. They was talking shit but didn't have all the answers. So this Indian chick or this Chinese chick may be talking shit and don't know how all the answers. They can't take it. Somebody is stalking you. A hideous image of evil. Somebody is dealing with somebody very dark. This person, they could, you could have your own money and they could have money and if you was in a relationship with them, Divine Feminine, it's like, I feel like you could have been financially given to this person and they give it to some evil witch or somebody. And you broke up with them. And now they can't take it. They stalk you. Because you're no longer confused. The lie was exposed. exposed, And you, your money work, you're, you're working on your finances. Somebody can't cook or boil an egg based on reality. So you tasted somebody's food or somebody tasted your food. Maybe they say you can't cook divine feminine. Some of these divine feminists may can't cook. Okay. We have blocked out here. Too focused on money, a workaholic again. And time is running out. So you block this person and now they're gloomy and depressed. Um, you could They could have been irritating you and you to block them sad and unhappy you may be spending your money and treating yourself now that you got away from this motherfucker who telling had you scared and they may have been irritated that you was able to buy yourself something able to take yourself to the movies like Miley Flowers say Miley Cyrus say I can buy my own flowers write my name in the sand talk to myself for hours say things you don't understand. I can take myself dancing. I can hold my own hand. I can love myself better than you can. And this is this is the whole thing. You can do all of this shit. This person was trying to it's like you go to work and they irritated because you 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 got a job. They're irritated because you're able to buy what you want. So they want to do some sort of shit. Let's see. What's the energy around this person when it comes to the collector's finances? Yeah, Ten of Swords, they defeated. Yeah, there's a defeat. They're defeated. Yep. Because you can do your shit yourself. Nine of Pentacles again. Yeah. You're able to treat yourself. You're financially abundant. Okay. They was warned not to do something. Yeah, again, they was they were trying to um they, they have no knowledge of, of some sort of they must have went up a hill or something. Secretly they did something. And it has to do with your money, your finances. And they was warned not to do it. If this is resonating with you, and hit that thumbs up button. Yeah, they were sending evil eye. Getting with other people talking about you. Trying to trying to send, you know, um, trying to do some sort of magic on your, your finances again. But I see that you you're dedicated to to the accomplishments that you make in your life, or you you get to you have a lot of accomplishments because you're dedicated to it. Some of you have started a new relationship. You're possibly a Pisces or a Cancer for some of you.
if somebody was sending evil eye to you, they was warned, or somebody could be in a cult, or they could have, they could be the ringleader of, of talking about you. They could be, if they're not actually telling you to not spend your money, they getting with other people. If your finance has been, you know, well, it don't look like your finances is being affected. They trying to. They trying to do some sort of money spell. We rebuke that spirit and, and return it to sender. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, they trying to send evil eye to you because you got accomplishments in your life. They happy, they sad. They're irritated that you're happy since you walked away from them. They're, they're nervous. They want you to be trapped with them again. And you like saying no. What was they warned not to do? They currently are being warned. Because they was already warned in the past. And they still did it. Maybe their karma is. Whoever this dark hideous image is. Of a woman. Getting into a lot of arguments, trying to defend themselves against the, the, the devils, the demons. Yeah. It could be a King of Cups energy. He could be crying over you, Divine Feminine. Secretly crying. Someone who's nurturing and loving. This King of Cups, I don't know. Or this could be somebody you started a new relationship. This could mean for some of you that you're being warned not to start a new relationship. With this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It could be, um, you could be being warned not to start something new with a King of Wands, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Somebody tried to send some demons or some demonic activity to over your house, and it didn't work. So you may have been experiencing things breaking down. Appliances going out, shit, uh, plumbing, um, car problems and shit. That's because somebody is throwing evil eye or they getting with you. If you got a lot of money, this motherfucker is out here saying shit. See, this is where people don't realize, and some of them do know what they do. But there's some motherfucker out here. You got some. You make money, and they they getting with other people talking about how you go to work hating because they stalking you. Oh, she got all that money. See, this this is how this shit works. They, they, they saying things like, okay, Divine Feminine, she got a good job, but she out there spending her money recklessly and you're not. You buying what you want. If you work for it, you, you, can, you earn it, you buy it. But see, this person is doing some shit to where, you know, it then came to the point to where it's like they trying to make shit fall apart in your house so you don't have enough money to buy yourself nothing new. You don't have enough money for those of you that have to go to like the laundry room. You don't have a washer and dryer. You know, they, they, they don't want you to be able to have enough. They want you to just be barely getting by just because they out there talking shit, telling you what you shouldn't do. So, well, I told her she shouldn't do this. That's, that means she's going to she, she's gonna lose her money. That's the evil eye that they sent. This motherfucker is so busy, focused on what you're doing. That they can't get their shit together. And somebody done told this person about this evil eye and this shit that they talk. Somebody done told them. Warn them. Don't you know when you say stuff like that about people, that shit gonna come back? That they still doing it. Now they stalking you because whatever they try to send towards you, they see that you still financially stable. Your head is still above the water. Yeah, they they. This person and put themselves in a in a um, competition with you, and they're intimidated.
This is somebody who wants revenge on you because you won't reconcile with them. Ain't that a shame? This person may like to pull knives or play with knives. Something significant to knives. Something significant to Doberman pictures. Something significant to motorcycles. Something significant to a dollhouse. This motherfucker, he got money too. That's the King of Pentacles. This was making me mad. He got money and he want to control your shit. And he's not your wish come true. This is a masculine in reverse. He's not your cup of tea. This is why you don't, you don't, well, it ain't saying that, well, it is saying that you don't, you, you don't want to get this person a second chance and now they up, stress, they losing sleep, they having anxiety attacks because they broke your heart. Okay. Okay. So tell me more. Yeah, they losing sleep because they want a new beginning with you, and they can't take it. Yep, you're not playing no mind games with this person no more. This is a liar, a manipulator. He's a narcissistic motherfucker. Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. He abuses his authority. If you married to this motherfucker, I'm sorry, but he's a motherfucker to me. If you married to him and you go to work every day, when it's time for you to get paid, he didn't already planned out what you should and shouldn't do with your check. Where the fuck was he when you was out there doing the work? And you done, you done told his ass off. You done told him. You irritated with him. Yeah. Tell me more, spirit. See? Ten of swords again. He's defeated. And he's losing sleep. All the evil eye and shit that he sent towards you, that shit is going back to him. If he tried to send something to you to have you nightmares, have you be having nightmares... Or if you've been having nightmares and you don't know why, that's because this motherfucker getting with people talking about you, sending evil eye. Okay? Look up what evil eye means. Okay? Look it up. And then get yourself some evil eye protection. I got mine. You can't see it, but I got it. This is somebody who has raged a war for you. They raged war. Um, somebody may may drive for a living. You may be a may drive for Uber or something. They could even did something. Somebody could have slashed your tire. That happened to me. Because they don't want you to move forward, so these motherfuckers are going and stab your tires. That way, you gotta pay for it to get another tire on your car where you was finna take that money and go get your hair done. Now you gotta buy a tire. Or you was finna go get your nails done. Or you was finna take yourself and treat yourself in the Chanel store or something. Then um, um, your refrigerator goes out. Your stove goes out. This is that motherfucker. Okay? Yeah, it's him. And he's wondering why you are, you're um, irritated with him because some of you you may know that he's doing this that's why you ain't with his ass no more and for some of you this is a fucking queen of pentacles in reverse doing this this is a um, this this helper is trying to send her energy queen of pentacles in reverse is a uh, she will do anything for money She's sending this shit evil eye towards Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine ain't out there selling her ass or her body. She ain't lying and manipulating people, lying to get money. So she's sending evil eye. Yeah. Some of you, this is this is 
your person's ex. For some of you, this is your ex. Okay, take it where it resonates. Somebody. But it's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, who's defend, who's defeated right now. She was warned not to do this shit. She's raged some sort of war. I guess she wanted you to be in competition with her. Yeah. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Holy Spirit. cups she don't she don't want you to know that she's the one sending evil out we know we know who you know put in the comments if you know who the fuck this queen of pentacles is or whoever the fuck she is that's sending this shit you know who she is Right about now, she may be scared because shit may be going wrong with her. Right about now, she may be biting her fingernails because she sent some shit to you, Divine Feminine, and you block that shit. You return the sender. Yeah, look, backfire. Shit backfired because you're protecting yourself. And whoever this motherfucker is, it's like they coming to check or sending somebody to see if the magic that they're doing is trying to work and ain't working no more. This motherfucker been reading a, a book of spells or something against your relationship. This is somebody that that don't wanna don't wanna release your master. She don't have no regrets for doing this shit. Mm-hmm. She she wanted you to be, you know, financially lost and in poverty. She took a. It's like she's she's either giving your masculine some bad advice or somebody gave her some bad advice. Yep. Because you know how to use your intuition, divine feminine, and some of you ain't got enough of this broken heart or this karmic energy is jealous. She getting karma for this shit, too. Because you still at the Ten of Pentacles. So she's doing playing with Ouija boards and shit. Plotting and planning. And it ain't working. All the effort she doing, it ain't do it ain't working. Now she fucking stuck. Because the shit that she was going, she thought she was gonna be running, but she's running. She running from this shit now because she's stuck. And she did all of this motherfucking shit because this masculine done walked away from her or he's doing this shit because you walked away from him. This is this greedy motherfucker, King of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven of Swords. She's trying to be sneaky and deceptive. This is something she hid. She made a rash, hasty decision, you know, to to try to make you scared to spend your money. And whoever this bitch is, who the fuck is this? Damn. Who is this bitch? Yeah, I said it. This should make me mad. More and more angry. See? It's either making you more and more angry, irritated at this person, or that he's dealing with somebody like this. Or they get more and more angry when they looking at you, Divine Feminine. This is Petty Betty. Somebody who's jealous. Completed. This is somebody the masculine then ended something with. She could be a virgin or saying she was a virgin or she could be, you know, a, a, a karmic sick virgin, meaning that she gave this masculine her virginity and now she's sick and crazy behind him. Betrayal is coming to the light. This karmic is talking shit about you and she don't got all the facts. She talking shit because this masculine is stalking you. She could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Because the masculine wants you back, Divine Feminine. 
they missing you and hating on you at the same time. And they attracted a user and a manipulator. That's what this karmic is. She's just a user and a manipulator. So she's sending evil eye for you to lose your money. Because she ain't got no money. Apparently she don't. She's trying to project her, her broke ass energy off on you. On us. These broke ass karmics. That do nothing but lay on their back and suck a dick for some money. They don't want to go to work. They want to, you know, not put in the work or the effort. They want to skip shit that's important when it comes to a relationship. Yeah. They're users and manipulators. And this is who this masculine is tied to. I don't blame you for not wanting him back. Yeah. They don't like the fact that you're putting yourself first. She's jealous of that. That you put yourself first. That you love yourself. This is why she's trying to send some shit for you to be broke. So you can't put yourself first. That everything you do, you gotta fix this and fix that. This motherfucker mad because a masculine wanna start over with you. And she want to start over with this masculine. And you irritated with him. So I'm going to stop it right here. I got to go take my lunch break, y'all. Take this medicine. See you in the next one. Peace.